Hey YouTube, this is Alex from CHQ Store. Today we're gonna to be doing a shootout video to determine which webcam is the best for you, the Logitech C920, the Logitech C930E, or the Microsoft Xbox One Connect. Stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna be doing this testing using this tripod, and we're going to be doing all the testing, trying to keep the web cameras in almost exactly the same spot. Um, so the, the best way that I figure to do this is to be um, actually mounting the Logitech web cameras on top of the Kinect, um, because as you can see here, the Kinect camera is uh, off to the side by probably about four or six inches. Um, and so yeah, it's just actually a lot easier to get more accurate location just putting the webcam like you see this the black uh, C920 I have here it's so close to exactly where the Kinect uh, webcam is that um, that that's what we determined would be the best way to test them from the same spot um, I'm just using a pretty basic tripod here that we got on Amazon um, it's actually really nice I think it was only like 20 bucks but uh, man it's it's been great for us and uh, yeah so let's, uh, let's talk some specs and get some more information over to you now. All right, the first test we have here is the Logitech C920 webcam. The audio that you're hearing and the video that you're seeing is coming direct from the Logitech C920 web camera. We've done a more in-depth analysis of this web camera in another video, so click the link, look at our other videos if you wanna see that as well. Let's talk about the basic specs on this web camera. It has a resolution of 1080p, a frame rate of 30 frames per second. It does feature a dual stereo microphone, meaning that it has two microphones. It, the current price today, as of August 13th, 2018, is $49.99 with free shipping on Amazon. It is a small form factor web camera. It works with Windows, Mac OS, Chrome OS, Android, and most versions of Linux. And it features a field of view of 78 degrees. In our testing that we did at four feet back from the webcam we were able to get 56 inches width of frame and uh, yeah that concludes it for the c920 let's talk about the logitech c930e all right we're now on the logitech c930e so this is the audio and video from that web camera we've already done a more in-depth analysis on the c930e as well so look to our other videos if you want to see that so the specs on the C930E are actually really similar overall to the C920 that we just spoke about. It has a 1080p resolution, it has a 30 frames per second frame rate, it features a dual stereo microphone, uh, so, or I should say microphones, it's two microphones. Um, it sells for about $25 more, so about $75 with free shipping on Amazon as of today. It's basically the same footprint, it's a smaller form factor type web camera, and it works with Windows, Mac OS, and most versions of Linux. It does not, it's not advertised as working with Android or uh, Chrome OS, uh, but you may be able to get that working as well. Um, the main selling point for this web camera is that it does have a wide field of view. Um, so it features a um, 90 degree field of view, whereas the C920 we just talked about was only 50, uh, sorry, only a 78 degrees field of view. It also features a pan tilt and a forex zoom. And uh, with our test that we did where we were four feet back from the webcam, we were able to get a 68 inch width on our frame uh, versus the 56 inch width that we were able to get on the uh, C920. So that's it for the C930E. Let's talk about the Xbox One Connect now. All right, last but not least, we're now testing the Microsoft Xbox One Connect using it as a webcam with a special adapter that's available for sale online. I do want to remind you that this is not an Xbox 360 Connect. This is the Xbox One Connect, and it is significantly better than the 360 version. Um, the audio and video that you're now hearing right now is directly from the Xbox One Connect. Um, let's talk about the specs. This has a resolution of 1080p, just like the last two, at 30 frames per second, just like the last two web cameras from Logitech. Uh, however, it has four microphones instead of two, um, and it has uh, compatibility with Windows, uh, Mac OS, and Linux. Uh, there was no mention of Android or Chrome OS compatibility. Uh, 
Um, and then feature-wise, this works with Windows Hello, which is a Windows 10 feature that uses facial recognition to unlock your computer. It's like putting in your password or your PIN, but it uses your face. And it's really, really fast, like one second of seeing your face. Super good. Very, very good. Um, so it has facial recognition, infrared built into this, um, which is why it's so large. It's a very large web camera. It's a lot larger than the other two as far as the space that it takes up. Um, and yeah, so the last thing to talk about really is the field of view. Uh, there was no degrees listed online for the degrees of the field of view, like the Logitech C930E, for instance, said it had 90 degrees. Um, I could not find that spec because this isn't made as a web camera. It's not advertised as a web camera. Uh, but that being said, it is really, really wide. Uh, the C930E, as I mentioned, was 90 degrees, which was quite a bit wider than even the C920. Um, I did my own testing going four feet back from the web cameras and then measuring the actual the frame with a, with a tape measure. How wide is the frame at four feet back? And we had 78 inches on the Kinect, which is 10 inches, almost a whole foot wider than the super wide C9, uh, sorry, C930E. Um, so if you're looking for the widest field of view on any web camera, this is the widest I can, that I know of. Maybe someone in the comments correct me if they, they're aware of something that's even wider. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Kinect. And uh, let's uh, go to the summary. All right, so we've now tested the Logitech C920, the Logitech C930, and the Microsoft Xbox One Kinect used as a webcam with the adapter. Um, so I want to point out that all three web cameras were used with the same software. We were just using the standard Microsoft camera uh, app. I guess you could call it an app. You call it software, program, whatever you want to call it. But it's what's included in Windows 10 for free. It's just called camera. Um, so we weren't using anything special. I'm sure you could maybe uh, you know find some other software on the internet that would do the same stuff and maybe it would be a lot better but I'm just trying to keep this basic and simple um, so you know that being said um, I'm sure everyone wants to know which device that I think was the best uh, and the winner uh, to me was by far the Microsoft Xbox One Connect um, and for three reasons uh, so I thought that it had the best video the best audio and the best features um, so you know, the video, in my opinion, the, the picture quality seemed the most accurate. The colors seemed the most accurate. I felt like on the C920 and the C930E that the colors were just a little bit washed out, um, kind of dull, and, uh, you know, especially on bright colors in particular. So, like my shirt, this shirt has a bunch of uh, crazy colors, which, uh, by the way, um, Into the AM, buy their clothes. They make some really awesome clothes. But, uh, like, the red on my on my uh, seat here, you know, bright, a bright red like that, those type of bright colors, like even the green on the, the plant in the background, I felt like they just pop a lot more and look a lot more real to me on the Microsoft uh, Connect versus the other web cameras. Um, the audio was a, like even bigger difference for me. I, I just felt like my voice sounded a lot more accurate to what my voice really sounds like in real life. And it was more clear on the uh, on the connect um, it's probably because you know between either the it has four microphones instead of two the the, the logitech c920 and c930 both have only two um, microphones and if i had to guess my guess would be that the microphones in the connect were also of a higher quality than the microphones used on the logitechs um, you know because i feel like yeah just because there's four twice as many it doesn't necessarily mean that the sound quality is going to be better. Um, you could always have one microphone that's, you know, like for instance, like a Rode brand microphone that's like $300 is going to be one microphone, but it's going to probably sound way better than the four microphones that are on this Connect here. I could be wrong. Maybe this thing would even sound better than a Rode for all I know. But, um, you know, the higher quality, typically the, the better, you know, the high qual higher quality the components are, the better the sound's going to be. It's not all about just having a thousand microphones. Um, Anyway, that being said, uh, the last feature, the, the last thing I had mentioned was that the features were the best, and that's because uh, the Xbox One Connect, um, it has infrared cameras or infrared sensors built in. It lets you do, uh, you know, facial recognition and biometric stuff. It lets you use the Windows Hello so you can unlock your 
Windows 10 device with just your face. There's probably a bunch of other things I don't even know about yet that can use your facial, uh, your face or your facial recognition um, hardware on the Kinect. So uh, there's just a lot of cool things, you know, or I guess just a few cool things I know of, but I feel like there's probably a lot of other cool things that I don't even know about yet that you could use it for. And why not? You know, it's pretty much about the same price as the other. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, my favorite's the Connect. It was a big surprise to me. I didn't expect it. Um, it wasn't my intention when I started this series of reviews to tell everyone how great the Connect is. I had never even, I just had a bunch of them in my warehouse and figured it'd be fun to mess with it, um, to be honest with you. So, um, I actually went out and bought the Logitechs. I, I spent more money on the Logitechs than I did on this, uh, the Connect. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching the video all the way to the end. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Um, please subscribe if you're interested in computer and computer hardware reviews, unboxings, and news, um, and hit the notification bell. And, uh, yeah, thanks again. This is Alex from CHQ Store.